I welcome you at the Alternative House channel. We have been invited to show you our bus, uh, which has been built uh, from 2011 till 2016 by my husband, who asked me to give you an introduction. So I will, will be only telling and showing, and the technical part, he will be in the background. Up here, with, there is a, ga a gas tank in it of 100 liters. It's LPG and it is filled out here. We have a filler. So you can fill um, the tank at a, at a normal gas station. And the gas you're using for water? This is for heating, for the water heater. That's over there. And it's for cooking. So it lasts quite a while. Yes, oh, it lasts. So, um, like we use it, we can years do with, with this tank, this 100 liter tank. And the wooden box, that is the generator in it. I made the wooden box before because of the no noise uh, insulation. And then next to it is the um, water pump. It's very uh, good because uh, it gives pressure just like at home. And then it's the water tank, you can see it, it's a 600 liters water tank. And then uh, all in the, in the back there is the um, power, power fuses box. And we over here, they are the outside um, units of the air conditioning. So this is where the, the, the toilets... Uh, it's like 300 liters? 300 liters, yes, right. So we can flush uh, 100 times. And I can connect a hose underneath. We've got a short hose, that is this one, just for when you're over disposal. But we got also long hoses when it's farther away and you connect it to a sewer. We, uh, last year we were a camping, uh, camping place with a sewer connection at the spot. So you have then, you have, we had water and we had sewer so we could shower forever. This is the condenser of a dryer. So it, it looks, it works like a heat exchange. So the air is sucking in here through a filter and then it goes through the, into the bus and it, in, in the bus it is divided over two places, upstairs and downstairs, and it sucks the air in as well. So here is a sucking um, a fan and a blowing fan. And this is the engine. This is the new engine? The, well, it, is, it got overhauled. So yes, it's practically new. Uh, in 2015 it got overhauled. So it's just seven years now. And now you didn't have any issues anymore? No, it runs uh, very, very well. We had 90 chairs in the beginning and now we have 11. So we can sit in front with two persons here and four persons upstairs. And of course the driver is always in front. We have two stairs, one in front and one in the back. This is our kitchen uh, area, of course with uh, seat belts. This can be used as an additional bed, but we use it only as a couch. And this is uh, our kitchen, fully equipped with a freezer, a refrigerator, dishwasher, oven, and a lot of space for all our cutlery. This is the cooking uh, area. We close our cupboards with keys. This one is a difficult one. <laughs> this always works if you have a tiny house. So this is work for my husband. <laughs> and this is made like they not opening when you're, when you're driving. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, for uh, safety. Mm. And if you have air conditioner. And yeah, heater. we have a air conditioner and a heater. This is our second. Stairs. We go upstairs now to our bedroom. And you can see we have a Dutch background. As there we have the Nachtwacht. And under the bed we have additional space for the chairs for outside the table. We have far enough 
space for clothing, uh, stock. This is my vacuum cleaner, which is a long tube. I put it in here. Here we have a little hole. And then it works. The tube is that long because I can use it upstairs and I can use it downstairs. So we have only one vacuum cleaner, which should do it all. So it's more than enough for all the bathrooms? Yeah, it is, yeah. So I leave it, uh, I leave it like this because... And you have another uh, air conditioning? Air, other air conditioning, yeah. And we have some for safety reasons. But this door, if you close it, so to make sure that your door doesn't open when it's uh, when we are driving. Additional uh, close it and uh, and it's huge. It's like yeah, it's no, yeah, it's it's big. It's uh, you know. We like are a on a, a short leave now, so we, there's no much not much clothing in this. This is our bathroom with a toilet. This is our bath, and as you can see, the we have two doors, which is easy. So we as parents have our own space, and our children have their own space without intervening privacy. We have a proper bath, and that's because we have a disabled son. So he cannot stand, and for him it's easy to sit down. As for us, to take a bath is... Uh, also more convenient because we cannot stand. So we have warm and uh, cold uh, water, uh, of course. And my husband had to put the bath first in and then divide the upper up, so upper it floor. Built, it was built around the bath. Yeah, <laughs> more or less, more or less. This is the children's uh, room. We have two boys. Here is another closet. Yeah, that's a, you want to see. This is another closet. Yeah. I uh, I thought I I put everything in the closet <laughs> to make sure. Yeah, I mean, to everything. <laughs> yeah, this is, but um, now yeah, the the good thing is that when they make a mess, they make it make it upstairs because everything is tiny. So we really want to keep it uh, clean enough. So uh, our oldest place here. And then we have the four seats, so there's never an argue who may uh, sit in front. Because they're always in the front. <laughs> because everybody can sit in the front. We have special curtains for the, for the sun. And this is a curtain we can put in between the chairs and this to keep out the warmth. So we have no air conditioning here. But it really, yeah, it really keeps the warmth outside. And some people have a bed uh, over here, so um, we can travel with more people than we usually travel. And every boy has his own uh, space to put their own toys or books or whatever, computers in this time, of course, telephone. Yeah, uh, so like extra storage. Yeah, extra storage, yeah. And they have, I have to check, because I think that's very convenient. We have, they have their own... Uh, charge possibility for the mobile phones and when they want to see uh, movies uh, on the telephone because for our youngest son it's very important that we have internet somewhere to see films he uh, now yeah so I think that is a good uh, advice for people with the children and uh, keep them positive about uh, joining the journey this is our front stairs so it's from uh, 92 the bus it's 30 years old now and it is uh, 12 meters long it is four meters high and that is the four meters are the, the legal limits uh, in big parts of Europe um, it has a 255 horsepower engine with its slightly um, underpowered for such a heavy vehicle it is uh, 16,000 kilos almost would you have you done something differently if you would do it from the beginning? I made a video about that. Yeah. In general, we are very happy with, especially layout, yeah. 
because we have uh, two separate bedrooms and uh, nobody has some uh, there's darn no privacy uh, because i got that question a lot too you have to go through a room to get to another room which is not the case because we got two staircases so the layout is very uh, very good we are we're happy with that yeah. But only, yeah, we talked about that, uh, the toilet. I, am, I would have preferred a composting toilet and still think it would be a good idea to put one in. Because you don't need uh, the black water tank and, and that freed up space, you could might be an outside unit of the air conditioning, could, could be then on the outside. Um, you couldn't even make it better when you, you would Too make cool. the bus suitable for winter conditions, because it isn't. So we do have some heating, but um, well, it's not sufficient for winter. It's, uh, so it would, meet, would need more insulation, it would, would uh, need another heater. I looked into the diesel heaters, I was very um, pleased with those. I think I would put in a diesel heater. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Hope you enjoy uh, to watch it. And uh, if you want so to have some more information or see some more videos about our big bus please go go to youtube on the and then you can meet us again thank you